Our Brownstone Industrial Park was established in the 1970s and is home to many industrial businesses whose products you may know even if you don't know the names. Specialty Lighting Group um, creates lighting systems for restaurants and chain stores across this country. Standard Naps Packaging Systems, they've been in business for more than 100 years and have partnered with a German firm and now their products are known worldwide. We have smaller industrial shops there. We have some larger industrial buildings that are home to Connecticut Pharmaceuticals. In other parts of town, our manufacturing firms include Jarvis Airfoil, who's a major supplier to Pratt & Whitney engines, which fly in airlines all over the world. Our Brownstone Industrial Park is really convenient for our businesses. They have municipal water and sewer, gas services, so companies like Charlie's Water Wagon that provide municipal water to pool companies and to people who need it for wells and manufacturing. We recently changed our zoning regulations to allow for breweries, and so we have a new brewery that shares space with a manufacturing firm. Our industrial park is a healthy part of our economy, and it's a place where businesses can start small and grow. Wow. We're here with Todd Roccafiore, uh, owner of uh, Charlie's Water Wagon, and uh, Todd has got uh, the, the fleet of uh, pool water trucks in back of us now. So, Todd, how did you get into the pool water business? Uh, mostly by default. Uh, we had a guy that was interested in getting water. They kept harping on us about 30 years ago and said he could never get it in our area, so we took a shot at it, and it's materialized into pretty much six units now. And uh, we've been going strong ever since with the help of the town of Portland, providing the water. We've filled everything from tugboats to kids' pools, uh, cell phone tower sites for the forms, construction sites, as well as swimming pools from 200 gallons to 26 of these trucks in one shot. We got a lot of great customers over the years that have become repeat customers and sometimes almost like family to us. And we definitely do look forward to uh, the water season and doing the best we can to take care of as many people as we can. I got into brewing uh, with uh, Dave Piker and Brian Aida about five years ago. The three of us came together as home brewers and uh, started entering competitions and um, making beer um, and decided that we were going to go into business. We had three or four locations that all fell through. The opportunity came up here at the Promo Plastics facility and uh, the landlords here were absolutely amazing to work with uh, and everything just fell into place here. Um, Portland's our home. We were struggling finding a building and uh, found this space and um, it really looked at it and really worked for us. So We get our, um, our grain delivery based on the beers that we're making and it's stored usually the night before uh, a brew and it goes through a crushing process. And these little discs will pull it through a pipe up into the top of the grist hopper. It drops in at a rate that we set and it'll go through what's called the, the grist hydrator. We make a big kettle full of what's called mash. It will get mixed with these big blades inside the mash tun and the liquid or the hot wort falls through the slits in the bottom and gets collected. Once the sugar water is boiled off, we do what's called a knockout, and that knockout process will take it and rapidly chill the wort, and we'll pump it through a plate chiller and then over to our fermentation area, and the yeast will be added to help convert that sugar water into beer. It'll go from fermentation into a bright tank, and in the bright tank here, it'll get carbonated. Our tap run line goes from the cold room all the way over to the bar area. It's about an 80-foot run in glycol chilled uh, beer lines. That comes up and through each tap, we have two Two tap towers, 16 taps. Um, we are in a couple ciders on right now. Uh, if it's a warm day, sometimes the sours are making most sense to people. Uh, depends on the crowd too. People love our Portland Pilsner, which is a very easy drinking light beer. IPAs are always a favorite, so those go. And again, it depends really what day of the week or what day of you know how people are feeling. Really, it's it's a quite interesting thing.